everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent stamping out uh, demonstrator here in Central Victoria, Australia. Um, thank you so much for joining me. So whether you're joining me live or watching the replay later on, this will be both uh, a replay on Facebook as well as YouTube. So um, whether you're popping in with YouTube or Facebook, um, please say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. That would be really great as well. So I hope everyone's had a really great week. It's Thursday again and Thursdays come around really, really fast for me. But it's a day that I look forward to because um, not only do I go live with you lot, but um, it's also Handmaid's Tale. So I actually haven't spoken, I don't think, about Handmaid's Tale. I absolutely love the Handmaid's Tale and yeah, we get to watch it Thursday night, so um, Thursday is my favourite day. Hi Marion, thanks so much for joining me. Warm in your kitchen, excellent. I'm so glad that you got your chimney fixed. Um, it's not good to be winter and not have any heating. Um, that's awful, especially when it's cold, but it's probably not too cold in Northern New South Wales now compared to Victoria. But we had an absolutely lovely day today. It was really sunny and a um, bit of a breeze, but it was a really, really nice warm day. So I'm just gonna try and bring up um, any comments coming up on my iPad. If you're coming on, please say hi. And I'm having a bit of trouble getting that up. Let's see. So how's everyone's week been? What have you been up to? Have you been up to anything exciting? I had um, dinghy day, yeah, nice and cool. <laughs> um, I've went live with my um, global video collab um, uh, for this month. We used the Daisy Lane stamp set. So that went live last night at 11 p.m. I had to stay up and make sure that all my links worked. So if you haven't checked that out, go and check out my YouTube channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do that as well. Does not want to come up. Oh, there we are. Beautiful. Let's see if I can see the comments. Okay, got that working finally. Thanks for sticking with me. So I'm going to get started. Um, first off, I've only got one rack for this week. So I'm going to bring that in. It's a beautiful card. And it's from Marsha McCarthy in North Carolina in the US. And I really like this card. I think I'm gonna case this one. It's, uh, the colors are gorgeous. And just the whole um, card layout, the sketch layout, I think I really, really like this one. So thank you, Marsha. Now, if you've been following me, I've actually got a couple of cards from Marsha. So uh, that's pretty exciting too. So hopefully next week I have a couple more to show you. Although it's not guaranteed that I'm going to have one each each week, but that's okay. So one was lovely to get. Uh, for YouTube this week, so I actually had three videos go live for YouTube this week. So the first one on Tuesday was this one here. It's using the Rooted in Nature stamp set and also the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. And um, to be honest, I wasn't really keen on the Garden Lane Designer Series paper to start with, but it's really, really pretty and um, all the different greens. So it's, it's um, a really great set that could be used um, for a lot of cards and works really well with the Rooted in Nature stamp set. And I love this corrugated um, dimension on the bottom here. So that's Tuesday's video. Go and check that one out if you haven't seen that yet. And today's video, so for Thursday, is my case card. And this is the case card for today. It's using the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper, which is so beautiful. And this card is a really quick and easy card. It's got the ooh, this side, that lace trim that's in um, the suite. Very minimal stamping, just the uh, sentiment there and some little sequins in the background as well. So really quick and easy card, but it's so beautiful. That designer series paper is so worth buying. It's a really beautiful, beautiful pack. So that's Tuesday's card. The next one I'm gonna talk about is my Sunday Facebook challenge. And 
for Sunday's challenge, it was a color combo challenge. So we had uh, Pretty Peacock was the main color, which is one of our new in colors um, that was in this that's in our annual Stamping Up catalog. And I've teamed up. I chose the mint um, mint macaron, Night of Navy, and Pretty Peacock with the Grapefruit Grove. And I've done a sympathy card because. Um, well, you can never have too many sympathy cards in your stack. It's it's nice just to have some ready to go in case you might need them in a hurry. So that was my card for Sunday. And you still, if you would like to join in, we would love to have you. Um, you'll have till Sunday morning, um, Australian Eastern Standard Time to pop on and just pop in your card entry into the comment section. There's some lovely ladies there that will uh, leave lovely comments for you and it's really quick and simple to do you can use um, if you don't have the pretty peacock which you know you might not own yet that's fine um, just use one of the other Kyla combos with the pretty peacock out so that I think there's each uh, line has four uh, color combos so four colors in that combo just omit the um, pretty peacock and use the the other colors and make a card so I'd love to see um, some more people have a go and, and um, put your card entries in there. It'd be nice to have a few more people um, join in. So that was Sundays and up until Sundays, there'll be a new one on Sunday morning um, that you can join in as well. If you don't wanna join in with the color combo, there'll be a new one next Sunday morning. Okay, so like I said before, I took part in the video or monthly video global collaboration and for each month we are taking a stamp set and we're creating cards. So in this month's collab, we had Terry from the UK, Susan from the US, um, Lottie from the Netherlands, Gesha, I believe is how her name is pronounced in Germany, and Diane from Canada didn't take part this week, this month, but she'll be um, taking part next month. So hopefully you can um, come and join in next month and and do the video hop as such and, and have a look at um, some lovely cards that are created with the stamp set of the month. So this month was Daisy Lane and I'm gonna bring in my card. It is a fun fold card and I love the colors. We have um, soft sea foam, Coastal Cabana and uh, Petal Pink. And to me, these are like some old colors that Stamping Up used to have. Pistachio Pudding, um, what was the other colors? I was trying to think the other day, Crisp Cantaloupe. And I think Mint Macaron we had back then as well. So, or Coastal Cabana we had back then. So um, some really nice colors together. They're nice pastel colors and it opens up to a big fun fold card. So you can check out all the measurements and the video as well over my blog. And there is a link to that video in um, the description of this one. So if you haven't checked that out, you can do that as well. Now, if you um, are not part of my YouTube, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, head over there, hit subscribe, hit the little um, bell and be, so you can be notified when I have new videos. So each week, There'll be at least two videos, new videos, and um, some weeks there's gonna be three or four depending on what I have on. I take part in a few blog hops and the monthly video collab as well. So um, sometimes there'll be more than just the two. So it's a really great way to get a little bit of inspiration. So that's all the cards that I had to show you. Um, I'll, I've got a few specials that I let you know about last week. Um, that I'll go through, but I'll go through them after we've done our cards. So tonight I have two cards that we're going to make um, quickly. They're, one is a really quick and easy card, and I thought I couldn't just do that one card. I had to um, do another one because it was just too simple of a card. So let's get started. I'm going to pop the camera down and we can start crafting. Just gonna switch the camera around so it's round the right way. There we go. So if you would like to purchase any Stamping Up supplies, you can do so through my online store. If you use the hostess code for the month, 
um, I'll send you out a free gift, but you can also earn Inky rewards. So check those out over my blog. I've got all the details there as well. So the card we're gonna make is this one here, and it is really super simple and easy to make. It's using the stitched all around framelits, and I have it here. This label done, I've already pre-cut that one out just to make it a little bit easier. And we are using the sentiment, enjoy your special day from that stamp set. And I also have the believe you can, and we're using these two flowers here. I really love these flowers. I like this set. This is a hostess set, but um, I have I have used this for a few cards um, previously, and um, I'll be using this um, stamp set later on as well for cards throughout the year because I absolutely love this set. So the inks for this card are Petal Pink and Crumb Cake. Really easy um, colour scheme. And we're also using the Petal Pink Organdy Striped Ribbon. Now I just want to quickly show this ribbon is so soft and beautiful. Very easy to tie into a a knot or a bow it's really soft so really easy to work with to make cards so I have my card base here which is the crumb cake card base I have pre-cut that label there we go I also have a piece of petal pink cardstock as well as whisper white cardstock so I've already pre-scored my card base in half so I'm just going to fold in half and then burnish that edge and then we're going to do some really quick stamping so I'm going to start with the crumb cake ink and we're going to stamp the card base and I have the two flowers here that we're going to stamp and obviously we're going to stamp with not only the petal pink but also the crumb cake, so we're going to have to uh, clean our stamps in between. And I'm using the Stampin' Shemmy for that. Now, if you haven't used the Stampin' Shemmy before, um, it is a really great tool. I find the Stampin' Scrub, um, which is the other stamp cleaner, I have a little bit of trouble with that, getting that clean. I just cannot ever get that clean, but the Shemmy works really well at... Um, come and clean quickly and there is a bit of a trick to it so um, you actually have to clean it with hot water and cold water so I've just quickly stamped that background I'm going to bring the shemmy in I cleaned it earlier because it was dirty now when you clean it with the hot water the reds will come out reds and pinks and then when you clean it in the cold water the other colors come out so this was absolutely filthy before and i probably should have used memento to clean stamps with previously but it comes really clean and very easy to um, clean off your stamps so i'm going to get rid of that crumb cake and bring that petal pink ink in And our card base is right, so I'm going to bring in that label and we're going to stamp that sentiment. Let's hope I've got it nice and even. Excellent. And then I'm also going to bring in that Whisper White piece and the Petal Pink piece. So the background stamp we're going to stamp on the petal pink, petal pink cardstock and then I'm going to stamp the background stamp here that has the solid stamp we're going to stamp that twice and we're fussy cutting these ones out so we're finished with that ink let's bring the scissors in We're just going to quickly fussy cut these ones out. Welcome everyone if you're just popping on. Happy to have you here tonight. 
We are just making this card here if you've just popped, in, popped on. Please feel free to jump on and say hi. Let me know what you've been up to today or what you've been up to all week. And even where you're from. So I've just been busy working in the shop all week. Um, and making sure that the monthly co um, collab video went well. I was um, asked to do it on Thursday afternoon, so I had till Sunday to have it uh, videoed and edited and uploaded by Sunday. So it was a pretty quick turnaround. It's a pretty quick card that I did as well, but um, that's okay. Hopefully next month, which I think I can tell you what the stamp set will be for next month. Um, what did they decide? They changed it around. Hi, Rachel. Nice to see you. Do you do much crafting? So just quickly fussy cutting this out and I'm not doing a very good job. So does everyone watch The Handmaid's Tale? I'm a little obsessed. I get to watch it with my daughter. We sit and watch it every Thursday afternoon or Thursday night. So, it's, um, that's nice. Okay, so that's one. I'm gonna quickly do this next one. And we're just gonna pop some rhinestones over the top. Probably should have done this beforehand just to make it a little bit faster. I can't usually talk and do something at the same time. I can't do two things at once usually. Oh well. I don't know what sort of flowers these are but I don't know they really talk to me. Very very pretty. Better than Dawson's Creek. Oh, it's a hard one. Still a fan of Dawson's Creek, Marion. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pop some of that ribbon on the back of that label. And I'm just going to do a zigzag. Just that sort of effect on the back. And I know... That's sort of how much I want, so I'm just going to cut off that end. And I can use some tape on the back, and I'm just going to use some tear and tape. African Daisy, okay. I was watching a video today, and if you did the video collab, I feel like I've, that's all I'm talking about, but Lottie, the um, demonstrator from Netherlands, she actually did... Um, Australian daisies in the Australian daisies colour for her project she did a, a card as well as um, a tag for a pot so I thought that was pretty cute I didn't know we had Australian daisies so I learnt something today so just popping that all on the back there It's nice and stuck down. I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back as well. To pop that all up. Nothing like using a few too many.
So if you don't mind hitting like and share for this video, I'd really appreciate that as well. Um, get a few more people joining. So taking all the backs off and we're just going to pop that down. Like I said, this is a very quick and easy card that we're making. Bringing the Tombow glue in and I'm just going to glue all those little African daisies down. I'm going to pop that uh, petal pink card one down. Pop a dimensional on the back. There we go. Very cute. So I've got my basic rhinestones here as well. Oh. I'm just going to pop one of those medium size down on each of those middles of the flowers just to give that little bit of bling to it. And there's that card nice and quick and easy. So the next one we're going to do is this one here and this one I was just playing around with because um, this is watercolour paper and it's the new watercolour version but I was sort of playing around with our sprinkles that we've got in our new annual catalogue and this was just an off-cut piece that I had so um, I've used that and I've also used one of the new embossing folders so I'm going to show you how that works as well so I have my kit here so I have my sprinkles the inks I'm also using are Mango Melody, Melon Mumbo and Bermuda Bay. I'm using this stamp set Praiseworthy Pros and for this stamp set I'm using Way To Go and this has some really great sentiments on it and I'm also using the honeycomb sort of stamp there as well. The Believe You Can, no this is not, this is off the other one. Anyway, so we're using this stamp set and I'm using the brick um, 3D embossing folder that's in the new annual catalogue as well. So I have my card base here and we have Mango Melody card base and I've already pre-scored it. It's half a piece of A4 cut in half, so just score on that line. We have a piece of Melon Mumbo that we are going to emboss with that brick background. And then just a piece of, uh, it's an off-cut piece of the watercolour paper. So for this one I used my aqua brush. Here it is here. And I also just used a piece of paper. Now there's plenty of ways that you could probably do this. I just played around with it. I really liked how the card looked so I thought I'll do that for uh, this video. So to start off with I'm just going to lay a little bit of water down on that watercolour paper and I'm just going to um, mask off the rest of the watercolour paper. I don't want these sprinkles to go everywhere. The colours I'm using are Bermuda Bay, Melon Mumbo and also the um, Mango Melody. Now one thing with the um, Bermuda Bay, it comes off quite green, um, but that's okay. I think you just need to use a lot less. And I've found too that you really do need to um, mask off some of those holes. There are three holes in the sprinkles and you really, like this has got too much hole there you really need to just have half of one hole um, to make it worthwhile so I'm going to start off with the Bermuda Bay and I'm just going to place a few sprinkles down and you really don't need too many especially with the Bermuda Bay because it is so dark and I actually need a little bit more. Oh, see what I mean like it just comes out really quite dark so it comes out like a green which works well with the embellishments that I'm using. Okay, get rid of some of that. I'm going to bring in my heat tool because I want to make sure that that's dried before I move to the next color. So it won't be a second.
So that's dried off enough that I can move to the next colour, making sure I clean my aqua brush each time. So I'm going to pop another bit of water down to use my next colour. And we're going with the Melon Mumbo. And you can see this one, I've got a lot less of that hole um, open. The rest is covered. So I'm just going to cover that um, dry spot sticking a few of those sprinkles down and I love these sprinkles because they're very vibrant which is great moving the color over and it's okay if it blends a little see how bright that is that's beautiful bringing the heat tool back in just to quickly heat that up Move it over to the next one. Well, that wasn't quite clean, was it? I'm going to cover up the pink. And go from there. Now these work a lot like the brushos that we had in our previous catalogue. The difference being the brushos didn't have uh, very nice colours. They were more muddy colours. Oops. And so these ones actually come out true stamping up colours, except for the Bermuda Bay, it comes off a little bit green. But I think if you um, use a less, less sprinkles, it'll probably turn more blue. So that's what we're left off with. I have my stamp and I'm just going to come in and stamp over each of those colours. Bringing my chamois in each time. And if you go from your lightest colour to your darkest colour, that just makes it a little bit easier as well. I'm going with my Bermuda Bay next. And this just gives a little bit of extra interest into the card. And last off the Melon Mumbo. Yeah, they are nice and easy and bright. That's why I really like these ones. I think if you were pulled off with the brush shows last time, give these ones a go because they really are a lot different to... I better put the lids on so I don't end up having them go everywhere. That's that one. And Bermuda Bay. So with the washi tape, it doesn't actually sit down properly, but if you put lids on, you won't need to worry about it going everywhere. Okay, so over the top, we're going to stamp with um, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I did put that away earlier. So let me grab that out quickly, sorry about that. Okay, I have it here. I tried cleaning up my desk a little bit before the live, so um, I didn't have everything out. And I'm just going to pop that in the middle of that piece. Beautiful. And that's, how gorgeous is that? So I'm gonna bring the big shot in and do our die cutting, oh sorry, our embossing. And because this is one of the new embossing plates, I've got to open up my Big Shot. Um, there we go. Getting there. So I'm going to pop this inside the folder. 
running the spine along the inside but I'm also got just some pieces of cardstock and this is one two three four five there's about six or seven there I'm just going to pop that over the top and your machine will be different um, to mine because there's different tensions so you just have to try and work out what works for your machine um, it could be less cardstock it could be more so just give it a go I'm going to run this one through and hopefully that's enough and that's what we're left with and I like that there's a different look on either side we're going with this side here so I can get rid of this big shot It'll be interesting to see what Stamping Up bring for our new die, die, shop, die cut machine. Um, they've gotten rid of the big shot out of the Stampin' Up catalogue. So that is our background piece. Let's bring the card in. All my things. There we go. So this one's going to be popped, um, just glued straight down onto the embossed piece. And I don't think I said before, I'm using embellishments um, from the catalogue as well and although they're not the same colour so the embellishments are the happiness blooms enamel dots and it's funny because this call me clover fits in so well with the Bermuda Bay it looks like it's a green we have the pink which is mango um, melon mumbo which works well but then I've also got the pineapple punch enamel dots that go really well with the mango melody so I think that worked in quite well okay so I'm going to just pop some whisper white twine around that bricked card and I think I think I went around three times yeah three times Just around the bottom. I'm going to tie a knot. Oh, I'm probably not in the camera. There we go. I'm tie a knot on this side. And I don't know about you, but I find tying bows upside down, the bows turn out a little bit nicer. But I always start with that knot, so I don't have to try and have three hands. So I'm going to draw a nice little bow here. Hanging on to those pieces, I can get rid of those tails. Now that looks good. I'm going to pop this um, piece up onto the card base. I'm just going to stick a dimensional on each corner and one in the middle. They were a bit noisy. So the backing's off and then we can pop on those enamel dots. So another really quite a quick and simple card but I love the brightness of this card. If you follow me you'll probably know that my favourites are nice bright colours. And I thought um, this sentiment, it says way to go, well done, that was splendid. I just thought you know this would be a really nice card to give to someone who's done some good things. So I'm going to grab one of each of these colours and it'll be, I've got the medium pineapple punch. Let's go a small mango melody. I'm going to go down the bottom here and then I'm going to go a large call me clover. Let's put one there. Beautiful. And that's our card. Really quick and really easy. Okay, so let's bring both those cards in. So I hope you've enjoyed those two cards. Um, I do enjoy doing quick and easy cards, so hopefully you enjoy me making them. And um, yeah. All right, so don't forget you can order through my online store. There is a link both in the video and also down here. Use the hostess code. 
And for the month of July, which I did say last week, um, bonus days have started for the 1st of July to, all the way through um, till the 31st. Now for every $90 before shipping here in Australia, you will then get a $9 coupon code that will be delivered to your email. Now keep hold of this because no one else will know that coupon code. So if you delete it, um, you might have a few troubles trying to get it back. So hold on to it because the following month in August, you'll, you can use these coupon codes and you can have as many as you like. Um, save them up and, and do a bigger order for next month. Um, and you can get $9 off your order. So that's a really great saving. For every $90, you get a $9 coupon. Um, so that's really great to have a little bit extra. But they also have another um, special for this month, and this is a joining special. And it's, it's that special that they've called it extra twice. So from the 1st of July, so it's already running till the 31st of August, um, new demos can join up, and if they sign up, um, between now and the 31st of August, they will pay. Now, let me get this out because I think I said it wrong last week. The starter kit start um, is $169. You get to choose $280 worth of product, which is $111 of free product. Now, if you um, are in need of some supplies, this is a great way to get supplies cheaply um, not only once you join you'll get your, your extra 20 percent off but 111 dollars of free product just for joining you'll receive a 16 dollar coupon code for the following month that you can spend on your first order with the 20 percent or if you've already made an order it could be your second or third order but you you get an extra 16 dollars the following month now your starter kit comes to you free of charge there is no postage you will also get a um, business pack so you'll get uh, a pack of catalogs and some business supplies so it's a really great saving um, it's a whole 111 dollars of free product so if you're thinking about joining now is the time. And if you have any questions, I would love to um, help you out. You could join my team, the Inky Stampers. I would love to have you. And yeah, so plenty of great deals, whether you just want to purchase and have the bonus um, days and the coupon for the following month, or if you're interested in joining and um, becoming a demonstrator, you don't have to demonstrate. You can just uh, purchase for yourself and get the 20% saving. That's always an option as well. Okay, I'm going to leave you there. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll come back next Thursday. Don't forget to hit like and share. I would love if a few more people were able to join me next week. And don't forget, every Sunday I have my um, Facebook challenge. If you would like to join in, please do just pop your card, a uh, picture of your card in the comments. Okay, until next time, have a wonderful day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.